To me, the thrill of research is that it allows you to explore the limits of your mind. In the process, you add to generalizable knowledge, knowledge for the sake of knowledge. Uh, and that's what excites me about research. My name is Nanalini Rao. Everybody calls me Meena, and I'm a professor at the University of Illinois at Chicago in the Department of Physiology and Biophysics. My broad research interests are in an understanding how hormones and neurotransmitters signal and regulate physiological processes, particularly those of epithelia, which are tissues lining the various organs, including the gastrointestinal tract. The GI tract is the focus of my interest. Physiology is a wonderful discipline because it allows you to get a lot of different, understand the functioning of a lot of different complex systems together. In particular, epithelia are responsible as the first line of defense, but are also responsible for vectorial transport of ions and therefore water and nutrients that move from the outside into the body and vice versa. Um, there are a number, needless to say, there are uh, these transport processes require intricate regulation, which is minute by minute regulation. And this is accomplished by the um, copious amounts of hormones and neurotransmitters and other modulators that are present in the walls of the epithelial tract. If something goes awry, you land up having disease. And we've been interested in unraveling the signaling pathways uh, uh, underlying chloride secretion in the normal and the disease state. Chloride secretion involves at least four different transport molecules. One of them is a cystic fibrosis transmembrane conductance regulator located on the surface uh, layer of epithelial cells, that is a layer facing the outside. And the others are the sodium potassium ATPase, the NAKTCL cotransporter, and potassium channels, which are located on the side of the cells that are facing the blood. We have unraveled uh, both in human tissues as well as in animal models what goes missing in these signaling cascades in cystic fibrosis versus normal patients. And we've also tried to understand how some endogenous molecules such as bile acids regulate chloride secretion. Bile acids have long th been thought to be soaps responsible in, in the, uh, in, for fat digestion and absorption, but of late they have, been a, they have a new and increasingly important role as metabolic molecules. Excess amount of bile acids leads to copious amounts of diarrhea, leading to diseases such as irritable bowel syndrome, and we have tried to unravel the cellular signaling mechanisms that underlie uh, bile acid action. An elucidation of the complex molecular pathways underlying ion transport processes will help us understand what's happening not only in normal physiology, but also in disease states such as infectious diarrhea, inflammatory bowel disease, irritable bowel disease, as well as cystic fibrosis. It also has implications for other epithelia as seen in mammary glands and milk production. Diligent search, studious and critical inquiry and exhaustive investigation are what makes um, uh, it thrilling to be a scientist. And it's this continuous lifelong learning that keeps us all going.